Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the area of an equilateral triangle when the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is given as 180 cm. We have been given four options. This is a very important MCQ in 10th and 12th grade exams. We have been given the perimeter of the equilateral triangle and we know that the equilateral triangle is a triangle with all of its sides equal. So as all the sides of the equilateral triangle are equal, Let us say that the side be a centimeter. Then the perimeter will be equal to a plus a plus a, which equals 3a. And we have been given perimeter as 180 centimeters. So 3a will be equal to 180 centimeters. From where we can find the value of A, which is the side of the triangle. So, A will be equal to 180 divided by 3, which equals 60 centimeters. Now, we get the side length of the triangle, which is 60 centimeters. Now, using this side length, we can find the area of the triangle. The area of the equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square where a is the side of the triangle this is a this is a this will be a by 2 and this will be a by 2 you can find the area of the equilateral triangle using pythagorean theorem where we have hypotenuse equal to a the base will be a by 2 which is half of this one of the half of one of the sides of the equilateral triangle and we need to find the height of the area height of the triangle to find the area and the formula for finding the area of the triangle is half base times height so we'll get the area of the equilateral triangle as root 3 by 4 a square from this formula we can find the area which is root 3 by 4 a square is 60 square because A is 60 centimeters. So that's going to be root 3 by 4 times 60 times 60. This can be reduced and 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 15 is 60. So area comes out to be root 3 times 15 times 60 which equals fifteen hundred fifty eight point eight four centimeters square this is the area of the equilateral triangle when its perimeter is given let's check the options so, option D will be the correct answer. So, this is how we can find the area of equilateral triangle when its perimeter is given. So, I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.